I am just gonna upgrade a little bit uh, the work I did today uh, this is about this work I did here took more time to point out exactly uh, how the stuff was done at the Nova Mesta police station uh, at the postal office in the city of the Nova Mesto and how all this stuff was inside of this house where I am inside of our home where the police have barricaded itself with the psychiatrists uh, for the purposes of I wouldn't even call this torture I, I wouldn't call this torture this goes beyond torture I just wrote a post here about um, individual that uh, suffered the problem with the sepsis. They were playing with the sepsis in my case since 1995. Since 1995, they were taking the teeth, tooth fillings out poison is just that I didn't believe that that stuff had so much impact on me it's I don't even know if it does have now it maybe does as well as mine it probably does have because I do have a problem with the kidneys also with the heart I do have such problems that fit into the description of this um, in my case my tooth is not even half of what you see right there with the roots inside of my jaw basically that's my those are my demons beginning the 2019 and it all started in 2017 in exactly the same way as to what um, <clears throat> was done to me in 2006 when i returned just prior to return from united states of america they did the job identical to the one in 2019 on the first two they broke me it's kind of insane because my teeth are so strong so so strong uh, that's like the best proof that I can use that in fact both teeth were literally the tooth fillings were literally taken hundreds, hundreds of times out in between and reinserted back. So I don't know. Maybe it's the tooth filling that had bigger impacts on everything I have spoken about than other types of food poisoning. Even that I, you know, the colon, the intestines. That stuff was done literally through the poisoning. With the food poisoning, they would feed me with the, f the same food over and over and over. They would be doing stuff like this. Testing different products to see what impact they would have on me and so on. Cancer-wise and so on. They were developing diseases basically through whatever they were using as a, as a main form of poisoning. It's very, very important for me to stress in respect to the issue I did today concerning the postal office, this stuff here. Mm, I'm going to say to you, I had investigators from Ljubljana inside of this room, exactly where I see it. Here, tell me. But they were here in the fucking room everywhere. on a million occasions stating me that I probably would not succeed that I probably would not it became evident during MK Ultra that these Nova Mesta investigators they would have investigators from Ljubljana they would come like higher officers it was like a blonde guy from Ljubljana they would be um, he would see it here. It became evident that these people, that these people, just 
anticipated the suffering I would have to undergo, survive basically, to complete my job. Stuff you see I have done. To prove, to prove what? To prove their abuse, to prove their torture. Nobody else was doing this other than Slovenian police. British have hired Slovenian police for the job. When the British royals murder, when a British state murders, they hire the top, from the top officials down police, law enforcement to do just this kind of stuff in other countries. Likewise, that stuff is done in Britain by the police. And so I will not forget that they have insisted me for this audios. What I'm doing, I'm basically going through identical process to the one police have subjected me during this bestiality they performed on me. Call it MK Ultra torture if you like, whatever the fuck you want. This is very, very inhumane. Extremely inhumane. Um, when you don't get sleep, when you are all fucked up because of issues like this and they're piling because they have poisoned kidneys and liver and so on, uh, it's hard to even explain 24-7 to hear the sound in your ear. Shh, stuff like this. These are difficult stuff when you cannot walk up the stairs, up the stairways even. Well, stuff they have done to me uh, on many occasions, also cancer-wise, in my, let's say, left arm, I was 100%, I would not be capable to carry on. But somehow, it always, I found some way, like in the last seconds, I found solution to the problem. And I cured my left foot enough to do the exercise and I cure the wound in the left arm they created the cancer wise lymph nodes uh, somehow some way I just managed to survive I improved my lymphic system uh, through certain issues I employed that went contrary to the stuff they brainwashed me with how I have to do to survive during MK Ultra, uh, like long walks and stuff like this, hiking and stuff like this. I reduced that instead, avoided walk on the cold surface, uh, remained indoors and do exercise indoors instead, uh, just so that I finished this project just so that I survive, just so I'm really not going to be killed by the cancer. Uh, just like this, basically. I implemented a lot of changes and health somewhat remained uh, more or less at least the same. Uh, maybe have even a little bit improved, uh, but it did not worsen because it was systematically worsening. Uh, enough to finish, for me to finish this project. Uh, I have to say, I bought time in certain things that were just gonna help me out to get through and really get assistance. Medical assistance is so much needed in this case. So what I wanna say in this aspect is that Slovenian police anticipated I would do this audio recordings and they tormented, they tortured all exhausted, sleep deprived during the so called MK Ultra uh, on what I'm going to have to complete, on how I'm going to have to complete these things, and so on. Uh, the last thing they actually even guessed if I would be capable to complete this stuff. They said, if you can only do, you can prove that the items are located, that they told you contrary to where the items are located what items are located in the front and which items are located in the back room. They were actually enjoying torture. They basically enjoyed me how I curled, tired, exhausted, half dead in front of them 
uh, barely sit on the fucking seat, uh, ask stupid questions to them, and it's basically this is what MK Ultra is. This is what this type of torture. That's how it goes. And so as long as you follow their shit, their rape basically in your face, that's how it goes. Slovenian police was totally, totally concentrated. I'm talking about already investigators that came from Ljubljana, this blonde guy. Well, we're going to meet again, buddy. We're going to meet again. You're a big guy. You're a tough guy. But let me tell you, you're going to learn how tough and how big I am. That I'm going to promise you. We are going to meet face to face, you and I. We're going to meet. Because I want to fucking learn what the fuck you got out of this. I want to know how much the fuck it meant to you for everything you did, you tried to kill me. You're a police investigator, you're some boss, you're a higher authority in Ljubljana, but I remember you. I remember the way you look. So when I see you, you and I, we're gonna go straight face to face. Maybe even fist to fist. Maybe even more. That I promise you. That I promise you. These are the people that supposedly will go and come to Nova Mesa to investigate. They will come to investigate this stuff. They will come to investigate this. They were concentrated. They they suggested, well, you, you're probably not going to make it. You're probably not going to make it to get the proofs about where the official letters from the government, invitations such as to the court, to the police, and where the packages from abroad would be located, up front, rear, and this and that, where they would be playing with you. But you, if, if you can do this for me, basically, this that's how he talked to me. He said, if you can do this for me, if you can do this for me. So, but basically, I do the whole fucking thing. I did the whole fucking thing myself, and then I have a scumbag from the police that's gonna come from Ljubljana, and it's just gonna basically, the whole diarrhea that he created together with the local police here from Slovenia, from Novo Mesto, locally here, from this locality here, basically he's gonna proceed that like administrator, like basically piss shit in my face, basically is what they do. That's how they do it. That's how they believe they're gonna do it. I just want you to know basically the procedure, the way this stuff went. Yeah. It uh, it puts a lot of pressure on one. It's it puts like it's not easy to think about this issue, about this torture, the way they employ this torture, the way they did this stuff. The way I managed to go through these things, the way I managed to accomplish all this, and it might seem actually like a shit, like nothing. More like a joke, maybe. To some people. To some people, it doesn't even matter. I know, I understand that. To me, really, it doesn't matter shit. To me, this stuff is doesn't matter shit. And when I say that to me, this stuff doesn't matter shit, I cannot tell you what the fuck I would love to do to these people if I only could when they torture me? What I was thinking, what I could do with these people if I only could get my hands on them when they were talking to me, stuff like this. That's why I'm saying to you that to me, this sh doesn't mean shit, this stuff. To me, this stuff was only pushed down the throat. It was just, you have to do it. And I really didn't have to do it. I could go homeless. I could put the rope around my neck, I could do a million other things, and we really would not have to go and do this. It was just something, it was just maybe, maybe they had to do this like this, so that I would be mad, not angry, but mad enough so that I would go and complete this project. Yeah, you guys are going to have a lot of problems in Ljubljana. When we see each other face to face, when you're going to come from Ljubljana, you're going to ask the wrong question. You're going to get the wrong answer from me. That I promise you. I'm telling you this right now. You're a police officer. Take fucking note. You're going to ask the wrong question. 
you're going to get the very, very wrong answer from me.